Hello. So I just finished filming three videos that I'm actually really excited about. One was my most surprising and disappointing books of 2020. And then I did my top 10 books I want to read in 2021 and the 10 books I most wish I had read in 2020. And it's helping me think through my TBR for the year and really prioritize these books because that is 20 books that I really wish that I had read. And it's just exciting. I'm so excited about all of those books. So my body, I've had trouble sleeping just for like ages. <laughs> like my whole life I have insomnia and it runs in the family. But anyways, so when I've slept for four or five hours, my body's like, we're done. Let's wake up, Brittany. Let's get some stuff done. And it's not even anxiety at this point. Like I'm not anxious and I still woke up because my body is so used to sleeping for four hours, especially like Thursdays. I have to get up at four. So today was my one day to sleep in. I worked nine out of the last 10 days and finally I got to sleep in and my body was like 430. Let's get up, girl. Let's get going. So I laid in bed for forever and I read more of the bone hunters. <sighs> I'm this far in. So over 50% at this point, maybe 55. And then I watched more Castlevania and I love it so much. Trevor is like my favorite thing in the world. I just laugh all the time. Like everything he says, I'm like, you little genius. You're so clever. I love him. What else did I do? Answered a bunch of you guys' comments because you were so sweet on today's reading vlog and I'm so thankful for you. And I, it just really started my morning off on a happy, good note. So I'm really thankful for that. And then I finally got my butt out of bed. Well, no, then I fell asleep again for another hour. So I didn't get out of bed till 8.40, which I hate. I never sleep in that long. So then I worked out and read more of The Bone Hunters. I am 30% of the way through Vita Nostra right now and I'm obsessed. I love it very interested in where it's going. I'm really sad though because from what I can tell it's a trilogy and only the first book has been translated so far. So it makes me really worry that it's if it's going to end on a cliffhanger and we don't get the other books. I don't know anything about that or like when the next ones are supposed to come out. So I'm really curious about that. My plans for the day. I need to get some snow boots and snow pants and a good like outdoor coat because like snow gear I guess is what I'm saying. You'd think in Michigan I'd have that right but like I don't go outside in the winter other than hiking because I'm always freezing, but I want to take my nephew sledding. Got a lot of snow here today. And I think it's supposed to continue to snow. And then I'm going, I'm going hiking with my friend tomorrow. And then Saturday or Sunday, we might go cross, cross country skiing, which I'm just dying of excitement over because downhill skiing, snowboarding, anything like that scares me. But cross country just sounds like fun. So I'm going to look into that more. I want to read to 60% of the Bone Hunters today. Continue listening to Vita Nostra. And I have this little in the back of my mind goal to read one graphic novel and one manga every month. So I would like to finish this one this month, which is volumes 13, 14, 15 in Full Metal Alchemist. And then I would like to finish uh, The Promise book one, which is the first in the Avatar The Last Airbender graphic novels that are set after the TV show stops. And I'm like 25% of the way through that. So I would like to make some progress in those things. I would also like to play Horizon Zero Dawn since I haven't been able to in days, but either tonight or tomorrow, my family and I are going to finish watching the Hobbit movies. So that's like three hours of my time. I, that's why I don't watch movies, you guys, because three hours, I'm like thinking of all the things I could do in three hours while I sit there and don't get me wrong. I enjoy those movies, but three hours, <laughs> we are very excited to finish the series. I'm watching it just with my mom and dad and they both love the Hobbit movies way more than the Lord of the Rings movies. I'm the opposite. However, I greatly enjoy the Hobbit movies as well. I'm nervous because y'all have said that the third movie is the worst. So I suppose we'll find out. I need to go eat some lunch. I'm not going to talk about it too much here because I plan on talking about it more when I do the read along for the Hobbit and the movies. But we just finished the Battle of the Five Armies tonight. I think that's what it's called. The third Hobbit movie. Now I see why people don't like these movies. <laughs> I really enjoyed the first two Hobbit movies, especially the first one. This one just was, why? I have so many questions, just why? Why did you do it that way? We honestly fast forwarded some of the battles. Because <laughs> so I was just like, no, I don't know. I'm glad I watched it. I don't regret seeing it. But now I am starting to see why I get so much hate because it definitely is not the same quality as the Lord of the Rings or even the first two Hobbit movies. But that is done. So now I've seen all six films and I'm super prepared to start this read along and reread everything. And I'm so excited. This is like the worst lighting ever, but I'm not turning the light on for this clip. I just finished season two of Castlevania. I'm obsessed with it. I was heartbroken. It was like 
breaking my heart. And I was just talking to my friend and saying how I'm always too compassionate towards characters who are bad people and don't deserve it. But it's like in everything I read or everything I watch, I always feel bad for the bad guys every time. And that is where I go wrong in life. And that is why all my relationships fail. Because <laughs> I choose the wrong people. Anyways, it was so good. And it was stunning. So if you can have a great story and like a super interesting plot and characters and friendships and maybe romance but then it's so visually pleasing the artwork the animation it's just beautiful that it's like all the better and I cannot wait to continue on to season three I need to watch it like now like yesterday yeah I'm really excited there's 10 episodes so it's gonna take me a couple days because I cannot binge watch tv but that's that I just want to update you guys and that's all for now we just finished our first session of reading sprints with my friends on Patreon and it was so fun, you guys. It was just like the greatest experience because we all got to be extra motivated and it sort of encouraged us to stick with our reading and not get distracted by phones or TV or books or, or, or laptops or whatever else is around you or people or pets. So it was just super motivating and super fun because reading is such a solo activity. So to do it with friends at the same time and like know that you're all reading together, it was just great. So thanks to all that join and you're welcome to join us if you guys ever want to join the Patreon, but it's just super fun. So I had to update you guys. I'm 81% of the way through the bone hunters and it's a lot. It's good, but it's a lot. There might be some bikes, but I don't expect it to get some. Small hills. So I just realized I don't think I've updated you guys about Vita Nostra. Let me go get it. This baby right here. I am over halfway through it right now and I'm having mixed feelings. I need something strange to happen again. I need more happening in this world that is like out of the norm because at the beginning it was so weird that it was like keeping my attention and now at this point I'm like it just sort of feels like a school setting I mean don't get me wrong they're still required to do weird things which is like the things that this person makes her do for tests to basically get out of her comfort zone it's they're training these kids to do to kind of like pass their limit um, because they're being trained for something that we don't know yet and they don't even know. So that makes it a little intriguing because we don't know exactly what's going on. But some of the things are like a little sexual. And so that's uh, mildly concerning. The other thing that's really bizarre to me, and I don't know if it's because of being translated or like, I don't know what's customary where the, this was set, but like the kids are getting married, <laughs> like 18, super young and in school. And I'm like, why are you guys getting married? Why? Why are you guys getting married? Don't get married. I'm not saying you can never get married young and have it work out. My parents got married at 19 and 20 and they have been married since then. And same thing, I have like some other family members that have as well. But I would always discourage everyone from getting married before you're like 30. Talk from somebody who's been married. <laughs> And so I just find that a bit bizarre. I want more of the magical realism, more of this world with the coins where things are happening that we don't quite understand. I'm guessing it's going to pick up a bit at the end and we will sort of get to learn a bit more about what they are being trained for. I would at least hope so. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting more into that and seeing where it's going because so far we're kind of, we're dragging our feet a bit. We just got back from hiking. Um, it was so pretty outside. Hopefully you guys saw a clip. And then with Bone Hunters, so I decided to completely change my review format for that book for this because it's too hard for me to try to make sure I'm getting every single thing and it's taking the fun out of it. And I was talking to my friend and he was like, Brittany, just, I challenge you to change up the way that you're reviewing it to make it more enjoyable for yourself because I'm stressing myself out too much, making sure I don't miss a single thing. And I really don't think he meant the books to be read that way. He told me himself that you're not supposed to get everything the first time through. So I'm just going to kind of take it easier. And since I've done that and let it go, I've enjoyed my time reading it so much more. And I cannot 
tell you how dense this is. Doesn't look that big. I could pull five books off my shelf right the second that are this size and it's not even comparable. So um, I should finish this. I'm gonna read 80 pages. I have 150 pages left. So I might read a bit more tonight. I might just chill out because I've been up since 3.30 since my body doesn't let me sleep, but I'll be done with it on, Mon uh, on Tuesday. And then I can finally start our Patreon buddy read, which I'm really excited about. So that's all I'm reading right now. I think the book I want to pick up, the next audiobook I want to pick up after I'm done with this is The Vanished Birds. But I don't know if it'll be in right then. So I will evaluate when the time comes because I still have 50% left. So I'm guessing I won't finish with Vita Nostra until friday maybe but yeah i really am enjoying this style of magical realism and it just has me super psyched to get into more of it but yeah that's all for now what are you guys reading i'm editing watching castlevania i think this is season or episode six or seven of season three what is happening friends <laughs> what is happening also, my windows were supposed to come today, two weeks after the original date, which was three months after the original, original date. Now they're coming next week. Hopefully, maybe. I'm not supposed to get windows, I guess. I'm just kidding, you guys. It was season, it was episode nine, I think. So I just finished Castlevania. I have so many thoughts. I can't say any of them because it would spoil everything. But oh my God, I need to talk about it right now with everyone, with someone dying. What? It was so good. So now I think I'm gonna pick up The Promised Neverland. Oh, I need to, I've read more of Full Metal Alchemist a couple nights ago. So I'm definitely gonna finish that this month, which feels great. And then I finished The Bone Hunters today. I'm scrapping an hour and a half of vlog footage. I think I said this already. To do a different type of review because it feels less stressful to me. And it feels like something that is putting less pressure on myself, which is what I want to do because this is all for fun. So why well, stress myself out so much? Um, truth be told, it was like running a marathon, which is the entire series. Your training to get to the end result is not always a lot of fun, but the end result is great and a good time and you're glad you did it. So I know that you guys are going to come for me in the comments, but this is my least favorite Malazan book I've read so far. I liked every single other book more than this. Um, I guess my only hesitation in saying that is maybe I liked Garden, Gardens of the Moon less just because the it was the introduction to the world. Everything was so much smaller. We didn't know all the characters yet. So I did love that we got to see so many people come together in this book, but it felt more plot based and battle focused than character driven and focused on the world building in this book and those other two things are what i prefer to read about compared i don't like battle scenes i talk about this all the time even though they're well done and he writes great battle scenes they're not my favorite and i felt so detached from all of the characters in this book and that's not a problem i've had yet now don't get me wrong some characters i felt like so much more connected to and i feel like i loved I feel like I had so much greater of a love and appreciation for some of them, but others, I was just like, to be honest, I don't care. I don't care what you're doing right now. And I wanna get back to other people. So there was a lot of that as well. And it was big. It was a big, big, big book. So tonight I might chill, take it easy and read Full Metal Alchemist and watch The Promised Neverland. And then tomorrow I get to start The Darkness That Comes Before, which I'm so excited because my friends on Patreon are already reading it and they're ahead of me and it's about time that I get started on it since it's, oh, the 19th of the month today. So um, that is my only update for now. Ronnie Bear, come here, darling. Love of my life. We just finished Vita Nostra. And I really don't know what to think anymore. Come here, honey. I'm giving it a four out of five stars right now because there's so many things I loved about it. But at the same time, it can't be a full five stars because I was waiting for something more and wishing for something more a lot of the time because of how weird it started. I wanted more weirdness. Come here. I can't quite collect my thoughts on it. I almost want to do a full review. I'm considering doing more book reviews just on an extra day of the week because... I can't get all of my thoughts out in a wrap up usually. And I feel like that's not enough time to discuss books, especially if I'm going to be reading less books per month. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think about that. Also, I just want to say, this is my life. She owns me. 
that um, I'm going to start being more active on my Instagram, like asking you guys polls or discussing things. So if you guys want to interact with me and chat about it there, follow my Instagram. And this is not like, I want more Instagram followers. I literally couldn't care less how many Instagram followers I have. Uh, I've deleted my Instagram. Fun fact, I used to be a sponsored athlete uh, back in my competing days and I had thousands and thousands and thousands of followers and it just um, deleted my account because I didn't want to be involved in the fitness industry anymore and that's what most of the followers were from. So anyways, I literally couldn't care less about the numbers because uh, it's my personal Instagram anyways. I don't really like <laughs> use it to post book reviews or anything like that. It's not a bookstagram by any means. But it's just easy for me to communicate with you guys on it. So if you're interested in that, talk to me on Instagram. What was I going to say? But I, <laughs> Ronnie, you're so precious. But now I'm going to sit down and try to watch some Cowboy Bebop before our reading sprints for Patreon start at 8. Because Persephone Station uh, had Cowboy Bebop as a comm title along with Mandalorian. And my friend loves Cowboy Bebop. I really don't like that name, but, uh, so I'm going to give it a go. I started the darkness that comes before this morning and I'm intrigued so far. I'm very, very hooked. And I really like the discussion of grief and, um, what's the other word I'm looking for? She wasn't getting enough. It's, she was not getting enough attention, grief and, um, come on, processing emotions and stuff like that. So I'm hooked. And I'm tired. I'm really, really, really tired. Hello, my beautiful people. So I filmed my reading statistics for 2020, my series I want to start in 2021, and my Vita Nostra review because I love that book so much. So give me your thoughts and feedback because I'm thinking about doing more book reviews this year and just putting them on like an extra day of the week. So still doing three videos a week of my regular content and then having like a bonus Thursday where I would put up either Thursday or Saturday, also vote on that, where I would put up a book review. The reason I don't want to dedicate a full day a week or a regular content day to book reviews is because they perform <laughs> terribly and I do not know enough about YouTube statistics and algorithms and whatnot to know how to best go about that. But I do, as much as I do this for me and myself, like I do care about the success of my channel in the long run. I think we're lying if we say that that's not true because we take a lot of time to make and edit and publish these videos. So I don't, feel bad saying that, but also I care about creating content that I'm jazzed about and that I care about. And for me, that's book reviews because I have been feeling like every wrap up for like the last year or so, I have hardly been able to say anything about some books that I really want to talk about more, which is why I do the reading blogs. But still, there's more to say sometimes all in one location where it's easy for you guys to reference if you want to go back and watch it or you are interested in a specific book. So that's a way for me to be like, screw the statistics of what YouTube says and just here's an extra day that I'm not gonna care about. But also because book reviews are so specific to certain people, then it's not taking away content from the rest of you guys on another day. You would still have your regularly scheduled three videos a week that pretty much anyone could watch all of them and you don't have to specifically be interested in some book or series. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that because it kind of has me a bit excited. It won't be for every single book I review, but it will just be ones that I'm passionate about, ones I have a lot of say about, ones that I'm like continuing on with the series. I've also thought about doing some like ma manga and graphic novel wrap ups that way because I'm, they're all in one place and there's something I haven't prioritized in the last year, but prior to that year, I loved reading them. So I'm getting back into the swing of reading more of them again. And that way they wouldn't be mixed in with the other books so that people that don't care about them don't have to watch. I always feel so weird for new subscribers. Like while my house is being built, I'm living in my parents' basement. Most of you guys know, but some don't. And some of you are like, well, what do you like? What do you live in? <laughs> it's a basement. <laughs> Anyways, so let me know your thoughts on that. I had a great time talking about Vita Nostra. It was a great book. Then you guys, my new favorite movie right now is The Silent Voice. I cried for two hours straight, over two hours straight. I cried for over two hours straight. And <laughs> I love it so much, I'm obsessed with it. I accidentally ordered the, uh, pre-ordered the special deluxe edition that's hardcover that's coming out in October or August or something like that from Barnes and Noble. And I didn't mean to, I did mean to. 
tired Brittany accidentally orders things sometimes. <laughs> and, um, cause it's like $50. I did not need to spend that $50, but that suicide is a topic that is very close to my past. I don't remember what I've opened up about on the channel or not, so I won't get into it here nor there, but suicide is definitely something that has been it impacted my life quite a lot. So this this movie it was just like everything to me and I just want to hold it close to my heart. I want that special edition. I'm now going to order the manga and read all of them to re-experience the story. I want to watch that movie again tonight, even though I won't. I think the next thing I'm going to watch is, what is it called? Your Name? Because everyone that saw my story on Instagram was like, you need to re watch Your Name. So that is the next one on the list. I'm still having Castlevania withdrawals and I still need to finish The Promised Neverland. Let me know if you guys like me talking about anime and manga in this at all because I want to and it's an interest of mine, but I don't wanna bore you guys to death. But what am I reading right now? Oh, I'm, I'm almost done with this finally. Like one more, two more chapters in the last volume, I think, and then I'm reading. Get the book because it came in the mail, book mail. I'm reading this and let me tell you, it's good. It's very, very good. I think that most of us in the Patreon Discord are having a good time reading it. It is this month's buddy read. It's pretty dense and pretty, um, requires a lot of thought processing it and a lot of referencing either chapter summaries or the appendices in the back of the book to keep track of everything because there's like a glossary. So I have to check those out later today because I am right now 30, 3% of the way through and I haven't referenced to them at all yet, but I need to. Um, so The Darkness That Comes Before by R. Scott Baker. It is book one in the Prince of Nothing trilogy, I want to say. And I love the prose and I love the way the author, it's almost more of a dry writing style where you feel very much on the outside of the story, kind of like you do with Dune or Malazan or books like that. So it's a very like familiar type of writing style to me, which I enjoy. But at the same time, you do end up like loving or hating characters still, which is really important to me. So it's a really cool way to experience the story. And even at 33% of the way through, I mean, there's a war going on and I know why and what's happening, but I'm trying to like put all the pieces together still. Um, also, more insignificant details about my life. My mom is like severely allergic to cats and I have three cats and I moved into her house. And so that's why there's always blankets on the couch um, so that it's easier to clean and maintain being clean. You can see two babies right there. Anyways, that is my update for this, and I probably will do a dedicated review for this. I just love the size of this book. You can't find the second one. It's very heartbreaking. Then my audiobook. Okay, I was listening to, oh my God, what is it called? Something I want to get back to. I'll insert a picture for you guys. The Black Tides of Heaven, maybe? And I was loving it and they have beautiful covers. So I probably will get back to it. And then Scribd is being Scribd again and like got rid of all of my audiobook options. So I love that for me. But, and I've only listened to two, two Scribd books and it cut me off. So anyways, I got the binding in through my library this morning and I was like, well, I'm reading it now because that was just on my books that I wanted to read in 2020 list that I posted this morning. And it's one I have been saying for ages I want to prioritize. So now is the time, man. It's now or never. I know there are more negative opinions than positive opinions about this book, but I want to see where I fall. I'm 9% of the way through it, so I barely know what's going on. And um, the writing is stunning so far. The audiobook narration is great. And it's something that I definitely want to experience as an audiobook. So I'm really looking forward to continuing on and finding out where I stand on it because I know there are so many people who were disappointed by it. We'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't fall into that category. And oh, I read all of, I'm finished. Oh, my graphic novels are coming today. Okay. Let me tell you, getting back into reading manga and graphic novels is like the highlight of my life right now. Do I have a pathetic life or what? Okay. I mean, come on, you're with me. The monotony of quarantine is like Groundhog's Day. Every day is the same. Get up, go to work, come home. Get up, go to work, come home. If you even get to go to work. It's the little things, people. It's the little things. So I finished the search part one of Avatar The Last Airbender. That ending, that cliffhanger. I am getting my physical copy today because I read those through the library too. And uh, I just got the second one, the second loan through the library. 
And they're my babies. They're my children. I love them so much. I adore those characters. I would watch them like do absolutely nothing. They gotta do their house chores and clean. I'll watch you guys do that. Mow the lawn. I'll watch you guys do that because I love them. Anyways, I gave that five stars. And then I found out that there was this graphic novel bind up of The Rise of Kylo Ren. My love for Kylo Ren. <laughs> I like Kylo Ren more than Vader. My Star Wars characters, see it goes Anakin, whom I love. Then Kylo Ren, then Darth Vader. And yeah, Anakin and Darth Vader are separate. Um, anyways, I love him so much. <laughs> or maybe it's just, um, what's his name? Insert picture. Can I find a man like this, please? Anyways, it was it was the first four installments in the comic series, and I loved it. I, I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed seeing more of Ben Solo's backstory and how he turned out the way he is. I mean, you know a lot of it from the movies, but there was just some more details and stuff. It was fun to see. So I read that, and then, like I said, I just got The Search Part 2 in from Avatar, so I'm going to read that graphic novel, and then I think pick up volume one of My Hero Academia next because that is the next manga that I own before I purchase more because I try to keep that TBR low. Know what I'm saying? Okay, this is 10 minutes. Bye. We ride our bikes over and stuff like that. That's hard to imagine. Wave hi. Don't mind my red nose because I'm outside and it's winter here in Michigan. I'm standing in my house, you guys. And I have windows. <laughs> I have windows. <laughs> I'm doing a little silent happy dance because I'm so freaking excited. Do you see that? Seven foot windows and doors. French doors. Seven foot front windows. I could freaking cry of excitement right now. Like... I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Finally, we can do stuff. Hello. It's been a couple days again, but I wanted to update you guys on what I've been reading uh, before I end this vlog because it's currently like almost eight o'clock, I think, and I have yet to edit any of today's vlog footage. So I need to get on that. So you guys saw that I got windows. I'm beyond ecstatic. I have a little owl coming to say hi. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy things are coming together. I'll insert a picture for you guys since I was over there with my parents showing them this afternoon, so. And Ivana. Hi, say hello. Hi. Is she precious or what? So that's what I was doing and I didn't really take any footage. She's, come on up, Rana. So. What about I? I'm almost finished with the binding. I should finish it tonight or tomorrow morning. Very, 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 very different. I cannot stress that enough than what I was expecting and then what the synopsis makes it seem like it's going to be. But I enjoyed it. I sincerely have enjoyed every single second of listening to this book. And I'm really glad that I picked it up. That's one of the 53 books on my list for this year because when I added up all of the books from my anticipated 2021 releases, series I want to start, 10 books I want to read, 10 books I wish I read, classics I want to read. Ronnie, Rana Bear, hi. Um, Molasson books to finish and Wheel of Time books to finish. It's 53 books and I want to read 75 to 100. So I'm going to be reevaluating ones that I really, really, really want to read. Hi. I love you. To just make sure, because I had a terrible time reading The Prince of Nothing, The Darkness That Comes Before. Terrible time. I just realized that I didn't address this at all in this vlog, but I'm going to do a full review for The Darkness That Comes Before so that you guys can get more details. But basically, I just could not look past the overly sexist world where females were treated as nothing other than objects or prizes and everybody was basically described as pathetic that was female and there was a lot of other issues I had with it but I did not end up having a good time reading this book whatsoever and more to come later but I wanted to clarify that since I spoke so highly of it early on. I give it a two out of five stars. So I really want to make sure that any backlist fantasy I pick up is nothing like that. And I just have been sort of reevaluating the type of things I'm looking for in books and also what I know 
about a book going into it because I like going in so blind that I haven't really been looking into it enough and it's been hindering my enjoyment of books. So I also started doing book reviews, which I'm glad because it's valuable content in my opinion. I like doing reviews. It's content I want and content that I feel is valuable. So I'm going to do that. Hold on. I don't know why I got on that side tangent. So I'm going to do a review for the binding because I know a lot of you guys said that you were interested in hearing my thoughts about it. But after I pick that up right now, I have access to, I still don't have any ad access on Scribd, but I have access to the audiobook for Dead Astronauts by Jeff Vandermeer, which I wanted to read since it came out. And for Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah Baker, which is the story companion to Middle Game by Sean and McGuire, which I love so 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 much so I'm going to try to listen to both of those probably dead astronauts first I've been liking these shorter like 300 to 400 page audiobooks because I have a hard time with long audiobooks and I'm not forcing myself to read anything I don't want to read unless I have to this year so the book I'm reading right now is Lightbringer by Claire Legrand and it's so good it's so entertaining I'm loving my time reading it right now I'm so distracted by her it is one of my favorite young adult fantasy series and I forget that it's a young adult book when I'm reading it because it reads a little bit older and some of the content feels a bit more adult. And so I am glad that I'm reading it. Plus it's just so um, entertaining and gripping. There's a romance in it that I love even though it's definitely shipping the wrong people. Shipping her with the bad boy. Story of my life. So that is the physical book that I'm reading. Gonna try my best to finish it by the end of January because February is a brand new TBR and a lot of good books on it, but it's gonna be hard to get to all of them. So I'd really like to finish it this weekend so I can film my wrap up before I go back to work Monday because I can't film Monday through Thursday when I'm working. I've been reading lots of comics, graphic novels and manga, which is fun. I'm still reading the manga that I'm reading right now. My Hero Academia. I know the story because I'm watching it, but I still want to read it. And then I'm going to order a silent voice. Things have been mostly great. So that's, that makes me happy. Definitely been struggling a bit with my eating disorder, which I've talked a little bit on um, Instagram about because I know a lot of you guys appreciate when I open up about it. Overall, life is good. I hope you guys have all had a fabulous week of reading and life in general, even if you didn't get to read. But I think that's all the updates for now. Hold on. She's so precious. I did want to show you guys something. For people that wanted house updates, this is the coffee table I got. So this is like the style I'm doing. Um, the Ronnie Bear's like, can I see it? This is my parents' patio furniture. <laughs> All my stuff is so random here right now. But this is my table and chairs. Um, living in a basement life. But these are the plant holders that I got so they match it's like rattan however you say it um style that I'm obsessed with and I think I just love this tabletop so much I feel like I showed it in a vlog I can't remember um but yes yeah, so I'm gonna try to do most of my style like that and I'm really excited about it but that is all for now friends and thank you guys for watching I will see you next time